Righty ho, folks, we uh, have got Ramon here on Trading Nut. We're going to walk through uh, his 50k trade. So one trade, 50k. And we sort of just talked before uh, before this as to how he got to the point where he made 50k on one trade. So if you're risking one to one, you're going to risk 50k. But the way he does it, and I'll let him explain it, is a bit different different to most. And it's going to allow you to risk a lot more based on what's gone on in the past. Um, but before we do check out the podcast we shot below so you're going to get his full story it's awesome uh, there'll be a link below the video or the youtube description uh, there'll be a link to the podcast and the actually yeah there'll be a link to the podcast as well if you want to listen to the actual podcast welcome to the show ramon thank you thank you appreciate you for having me well let's share your screen and uh have a look at this Folks, if you're looking for the skills to get funded, then the bank level trading strategy from my sponsors, City Traders Imperium, may be the perfect solution for you. Now, get this trades average one to five risk to reward with a 40 to 50% win rate. And the strategy combines the best of smart money concepts, wave theory, and Wyckoff theory. Plus, it's been successfully used to pass CTI's evaluation challenge. To find out more, click the link in the description below or the card above or visit citytradersimperium.com. So the way I trade is I kind of see trading as kind of like compounding. Um, you know, we have our initial investment here. Um, and whenever you're trading, obviously, you want to build some cushion. And the way I trade is I'm usually using low risk to build that cushion. Once I have that cushion built, at that point in time, I'm then risking whatever profits I made on my next trade. That way, should I lose a trade, I'm fine. I'm, the count is still break even. I technically didn't take a loss. Um, so I'm going to actually go over how I did that same exact process here on this NAS trade. And I ended up making 55000 which is right here. Um, so first things first, I'm kind of going to give you guys like a top-down analysis on what happened here and, and why did I take this trade? Um, so around this time, we had the FOMC came out. Uh, if you guys didn't don't know, you know the rate the rates uh, they were raising the interest rates. So therefore, this was I seen this whole move here just almost like a bull trap. The same thing happened two FOMCs ago. The market shot up, and then the same next day it shot down. Um, so at this time, it's just patience and kind of like finding points of interest. So as you can see on my chart here, I actually have some demand zones here to the left. Um, this is something critical that I'm using. You know, demand zones is, is a very simple concept. Uh, every trader knows that, you know, usually when something gets broken, we come back for that simple break and retest and we drop down further. So as you can see here to the left, simple demand and price. Price came here and broke. Um, although price shot up, it was all about just finding where we are in the daily time frame. So I always start off from the higher top, you know, the top, top down analysis take a note that this right here is a structure point then I would place the fib from here to here just tracking where we are on the daily time frame noticing that okay prices hasn't retraced substantially we're still t potentially in this downtrend market um, and then it's all about going even lower down to the four hours and finding potential entries so once I established this was a, my potential er entry to, to kind of enter off of based off of the demand based off of the break and retest ba based off of the four hour structure I knew that okay let's keep breaking down these time frames let's go down to the one hour even go down to the 30 minute and 15 minutes so so forth to kind of see what we can get in here so something that i seen was that okay right this candle here has an extreme exhaustion point um we came right here and whipped here and this was actually due to fomc i believe fomc came out we got a major spike but my entries are usually always on the five minute and one minute so let me go back here and find that cool right so entering here actually had a lot of potential entry criteria for me one being it's a break and retest of a higher time frame zone two being the daily structure three I even have an inverted head and shoulders right here or excuse me apology a head and shoulders right around here right and so forth so um, noticing that okay I'm seeing some exhaustion or I'm seeing a reaction to the zone I'm looking to get in based off the structure, based off of all the confluences I mentioned prior, right? But then I go down to the nitty gritty, which is the one minute time frame execution. So the way I see the charts is this market structure. You know, each market structure is going to be the same on each time frame. Um, it's just a different time frame. There's going to be internal structure and there's going to be bear structure. Um, but that, at the end of the day, um, it's it's all the same. It's all the same. You know, as long as you're able to interpret what structure is what, you should be just fine. So let me go here to the one minute. 
So here in the one minute, um, as we're near my potential interest that I'm looking at, um, based off the higher time frame analysis, I'm an ex extremely aggressive trader. So I'm looking for the slightest shift in, in structure. Um, what I see in particular here was this one minute in, uh, bearish engulfing that formed. So we have this very, very slight structure point here. Price came up, gave the slightest change in structure. I entered with a stop loss right above there. Um, so I am an aggressive trader. I, I'm entering on the one minute. Um, so I understand that, you know, that you need to use initially low risk and scale my, scale my way in. Um, so during this time here, my stop loss is right above the structure, which is about 17, 17 points, 18 points. Um, so I'm risking about 10% on the account. Price drops substantially. Um, the minute I get 101, right, this trade didn't give me much drawdown. I got 101 fairly quick. The minute I got 101, my stops are placed at break even to reduce some of the risk on this trade, right? At that point in time, price ended up retracing. Um, so I, all I seen was this, okay, where is price retracing to and where can I get in? Same, same thing. Structure applies for everything. You know, I'm looking at the five minute structure, the 15 minute structure and so forth. So what I noticed was that, okay, price pulled back up. It still retested some type of structure. This is a 50% Fibonacci, um, which I use a lot in my trading strategy. And this is also some resistance here to the left. This is a five minute resistance. So now that I see the price came here, here I am again, looking to scale in. I'm on the one minute time frame, still looking for that structure shift. Um, so with me being so aggressive, I'm looking for the immediate bearish candle. My stop loss is right above that candle, ensuring that I'm risking as, as minimal as possible and the reward is as, as great as possible. So what I had seen here was just the same simple break and retest here. This is a one minute and five minute zone. We came up here, retested the 50% Fibonacci, presented a five minute bearish engulfing, and I entered. Stop loss, once again, right above here, right? The key thing about this is that since my entry my first entry is that break even, I have no risk on the table. I'm open to risking more, right? So now that I've added another position here, I've actually tightened my stop so tight above that one minute structure that I can enter and reduce the risk and maximize the profits. Um, so once I entered this trade, it's all about just trade management. At that point in time, I'm being aware of what's going on in the chart um, and just looking for those simple lower highs, lower lows. So that does mean I am kind of like, you know, switching between the five minute and the 15 minute. Um, and as you can see here, the five minute is printing nothing but lower highs and, and, uh, and lows. Um, so at that point in time, my higher time frame target was based off the Fibonacci, was also based off of these psychological levels, one of them being 11200. Price has wicked 11200. To me, that's a demand in price. It's an even number. It's a course theory and so forth. Um, so that was one of my long-term pr projections. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capitalize and hold it that long due to the psych psychological part of training um, and knowing that this was like, you know, some, one of my biggest trading days. Um, but so forth, as you can see here, NAS is, is, is definitely just printing lower high and low points. Um, so at that point, it's just pure trade management. And this is kind of, I, I, this is how I was able to capitalize off of this simple move, off of the one minute time frame, five minute, tra five minute time frame, correlating between each other and maximizing. Hey folks, ever wonder what broker I use? Well, I use Hanko Trade. It was a no brainer because I was looking for a broker with good trading conditions and one that wouldn't restrict my leverage. Now by joining Hanko Trade, I've also cut down my trading costs significantly with their super low commission of just $1 per 100k. You can learn more at hankotrade.com or just click the link I've put in the description. Awesome. And and you said you had some uh, some uh, proof on your phone. You got the trade on your phone that you can show us. So let's, I'll stop you sharing the screen. Definitely. Okay, so there's a 2, 20, 27 and 22. And you've got the, the price points there. Awesome stuff. That's fantastic. Cool. Right. Yes. Well, look, guys, uh, thank you once again, Ramon, for uh, coming on the show. This is awesome. Now, what's the best way for the folks to get hold of you? Uh, you guys can check me out on Instagram. Feel free to DM me, GloryFX, G-L-O-R-R-Y-F-X. I'll be free to kind of answer any questions or comments. Awesome, guys. Well, look... Uh, 
once again thank you very much if you do want to check out the podcast there's a link below this video also if you do hit subscribe and hit like that'll be awesome as well as clicking that notifications bell and clicking all to get notified when future videos like this go live and we'll see you in the next one